Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, I want to help you with the timing of your animations on and off your screens and kind of like give you a kind of like a bit of a workaround with your animations and how they can appear on and off the screen or within your video at certain times. And today's coffee is in my jelly bean mug, which is really exciting. And this one's called Tunbridge Wells, day 13 can't believe we're on day 13 and just because it's an unlucky day day 13 technically i guess i'm going to enjoy it with a mince pie as well i've got my coffee my mince pie let's dive into canva and show you how you can change the timing of these elements here we are we're in canva and let's say what i've done is i've just come and in order to do this, should I say, let me rewind back a little bit for a second. What we're doing is we come into our home page and we're clicking on the video options. Now, you need to, in order to be able to do this, you need to click the video options because it's a way about kind of like editing and splitting up the video. And that's where you can then control how your element or when your element is going to come on and how long it stays on for. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come on, we've created a blank video, or I've created a video, and then all I've done is I've come over to the video options and I clicked on this business video. And it's just a person kind of like presenting for 27 seconds. Now what we can, what you can see there is this person comes on and the name's on there. So say this is our element, this is just a text block and my name, okay. Now we don't want that on for the whole 27 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group these two items together. Now what I want it to do is I want it to come on, say, kind of like after two seconds. So as I come in here, I'm just going to zoom into this timeline a little bit more, just so it's a little bit more precise. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this kind of like nobble, if you like. And I'm going to bring that in to around about the two second timer. Now it's really important that what you do is you actually drag the whole video and you split it. Okay. What you don't want to do is then start adding transitions in between the videos because that's going to create kind of like a, a, a funny effect. And I'll show you what I mean on, the, on this in a second. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click that and we're going to click split. What I can then now do is I can come back to this section here and delete that. Okay, so now after two, two minutes, it's going to come on. Now it looks like it's glitching there, but trust me, because you've split it, it's not glitching. When you actually download the video, it will be smooth. It should be smooth. Every time I've tried this, it's a smooth transition. And I've seen some videos that recommend kind of like putting like a transition in the middle here, because you can add transitions in here. If you want to have that consistent look, then don't worry because even though it looks like it glitches there you know i'll play that one more time for you see it looks like it glitches that's just the canva interface if you like that's creating that glitch so what i want to do is i want to create it and i only i only want it to be on for say like two seconds so i'm going to come to four seconds i'm going to split the clip there and then here on this particular part I'm then going to delete that again okay so what we've got here is you've got two seconds with no name on and two seconds with the name on now what I can do is I can actually add an animation to this if I wanted to so I could have stomp I could have fade I could have pop any of these kind of like options here okay so what I can now do is that then comes on there and it's then going to go off really simple and that's how you can do this with any of the elements so if i wanted a say i wanted this element on i don't want it on that one i want it on this one here okay so what you can see there is i've now got this element here and that's just going to come on for there i, I know it's just a really random element that we've just chosen there so we're just going to come on it's going to come off at the same time it's timing all about the timing and that's how you can kind of like time 
when your elements are coming on and off the screen. Now what I want to do is I want to just split this here and I want to show you that this now looks like a smooth video. So what we're going to do is come, come down MP4 video, download all pages. Just whilst we're waiting for that to download, this is a spiced rum mince pie, not just any mince pie. So here's the video. We've downloaded the video now and we're just going to click and press play. And you can see it's smooth. You don't need to add a transition in between. It looks like it's glitching in Canva. And this is something that I've told them that, you know, whilst you're playing about with the video editing tool, it does look like it's glitching. And you might be tempted to add a transition in there to kind of like try and fade it between the two or swipe between the two. But let's just take a look again. And it's at the two second mark. So you can see there where that comes on. There's no kind of like glitch there now. And I'm just going to scrub slowly. You can see all comes on. And that's how you can control when in a video your elements are coming on or off the screen or your animations are coming on or off the screen. That's how you can change the timing of them. This is the best option that I've found so far. Until next time, bye for now. Don't forget to enjoy your mince pies and your coffee.